guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be doing an organizational video so it's just how to stay organized during your online learning during quarantine work whatever it is just how to stay organized during this time and try and make time for everything you need to do try and get a routine in your life and have a little bit more structure i am going to be reading the notes that i have off my ipad so if I keep looking down, that is what I'm doing. I'm just making sure I don't ramble on and I don't miss anything that I want to say. My first tip is to make a schedule and stick to it. You can either use your university or school schedule that you would have um, from last term or if they've given you a new schedule, follow this new schedule, like it makes more sense. Um, but if they haven't given you a new schedule, try and make your own so think about how many hours a week um, did you usually spend taking this class my second tip is to set a designated workspace now i hadn't done this for like at least a month of online learning and i can't tell you how much it helps to just have a space where you just dedicate to work at it helps you be more productive, less lazy. Also keep your workspace very clean and uncluttered. It just helps you make sure you get your work done and so that you're not distracted by 10 other things on your desk. Also, I'm just a person who likes clean things and I can't work if something's not clean. My third tip is to plan. So get yourself a planner. I use my iPad to plan. Um, I have GoodNotes 5, which has like planner spreads in there, which I just literally, so it's got a monthly spread, a daily spread, and a weekly spread. I use the monthly and the weekly spread, and I literally just put my deadlines in there, plan out my week. So every Sunday I sit down and I plan out my week. I'll plan out my classes, I'll plan out what lectures I'm going to watch, at what time, what I need to do, when am I going to do my homework, what am I going to get done throughout the week. Obviously things slightly shift and change as the week progresses but to have your like main things down of what you want to do during the week and then you can slot in those other little things that you might need to do when you get told about them, it just it helps a lot. So yeah there is plenty of ways that you can plan you can literally just get any book and a pen and just make a monthly planner like just make like a whole calendar thing write your to-do list write a weekly like to-do thing um there is also a whole bunch of free like digital planner things on the internet especially on pinterest and you can just download those files, print them if you want, keep them on your laptop, your iPad, whatever. And then you can literally just jot down everything you need to do and get done that week. I promise you, planning helps so much. Like, when I don't plan my stuff, things just don't work out. Like, I'll forget that I have to do something or I'll just find out about something on the day that it's due. And it's just, it's not fun. So just plan your stuff. Plan out when you're going to do stuff and yeah, it'll help you so, so much. So on the topic of planning, there's also some apps you can use. Um, if you, so I personally use the calendar app that is just on your iPhone and reminders and notes. And here is where, so in the calendar, I put like my timetable. So I calendar block like okay i have this class today i have this lecture to watch etc and i also put my main deadlines in there then i use the reminders app which is really helpful and i just put in all my homework put in when i need to hand in things etc all in there so i put in what i need to do on each day in my reminders app and then I don't really use the notes app too much because of the reminders app, but there is like a to-do list function in the notes app. There is a to-do list function in the notes app, which you can use. So yeah. So one thing that I did 
I don't know when I did this. I think it was about two years ago. I completely turned off all my notifications for all kinds of social media besides WhatsApp and messages and phone calls. Um, so I don't get any other notifications. I don't get Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, nothing. And honestly, it's just so much better for your mental health, <laughs> or at least it was better for mine. Like I stopped going on to Instagram every time someone posted a photo, or every time this happened. It was just so annoying. And like every time someone would tweet something and they haven't tweeted in a long time, I don't need to know this. Like when I feel like using the app, that's when I'll go to it. I don't need to be notified every five seconds that this is happening, this is happening, this is happening. Like it's just too much for my brain. I don't like it. So yeah, I just think it is a good tip because it limits your distractions. So not seeing a notification pop up, you're not going to go to your phone and be on it. So obviously in the beginning, you're going to be like, oh, but I'm missing this. Like this is unusual. Like, I don't know what's going on. But then you slowly start to phase out of it and you honestly won't be on your phone that much unless you actually consciously want to go onto Instagram or go onto Facebook or whatever. Um, so yeah, limit your distractions, or at least try to. Another thing I want to mention is um, I use Study Bunny. So I mentioned this in my what's on my iPhone, and actually it's <laughs> it's not that great. Like it doesn't help. Like you can exit the app, and the timer will still be going. So it's not that good in the sense. Like it doesn't prevent you from leaving the app like some of the paid ones do so i'm gonna try and find another one but like if you do want something just there so you can keep a timer on and just see how long like set aside okay this is the amount of time that i'm gonna spend doing my work or whatever and just set it there so that you know okay yeah and then also it'll just like feel like you've accomplished something i don't know i don't know just thought i should mention it tip number five watch your pre-recorded lectures you need to like plan when you're gonna watch these lectures you can't just jump into your lecture and not know what's going on like that's not gonna help you learn it's not gonna help you study also watch your lecture in real time firstly it's just gonna save you a hell of a lot of time than you rewinding and rewatching and rewinding and rewatching like don't do that to yourself you would never be able to do that in real life so don't do it at home honestly watch your lecture take notes as you would if it was like a live lecture like you were actually in class so take your notes do it follow the lecture exactly how you would in class and that will keep your brain active and you'll learn it better <laughs> and yeah it'll just it'll just save you time as well because an hour's lecture now if you keep pausing and stopping to take notes it's just it's not gonna work rather you watch the full thing take quick notes etc then when you're reading through them and you remember oh i didn't understand something after the lecture is done then just go back to the lecture and just find where you were struggling and just pay attention and re-watch that part so it just saves you more time than stopping and so on and so forth just don't do that it's honestly like a recipe for disaster, if there's one thing I can say. <laughs> Try to work for a maximum of 12 hours. Um, <laughs> that sounds so long. Um, that's how long I work. I work for at least 12 hours. To be honest, I probably work for more, actually. But I'd like to say that it's just 12. So I work from 9 in the morning till 9 in the evening and I take an hour's long <laughs> I take an hour's lunch break from one to two so this just helps me be like okay these are my work hours Monday to Friday like nine to nine that's when I can fit everything in and then from then on I don't do anything else and then I go to bed at 11 so at least I have like two hours to myself ish kind of <laughs> but yeah so obviously sometimes this will exceed because of deadlines and so on and so forth but just try work for that or and work for maybe a minimum of eight hours or whatever your usual 
timetable would be so what you'd usually do at uni kind of thing in this time make sure you have some snack breaks and take your lunch break and also just try and get some fresh air even if it's just for like five or ten minutes I know that at uni during like my full day of class um, doing multi we'd take like five to 15 minutes outside during that time so I think just trying to keep what you usually be doing like keep doing that at home it does help you like feel better and concentrate better so yeah get six to eight hours of sleep and I know this is gonna be like um, something that people are like what I don't get that amount I sleep for four hours Look, if you can do that, great. But I'm a firm believer that everyone needs like a good amount of sleep to feel productive and like actually get on with their day properly and productively. So yeah, I'm someone who's super grumpy if I don't get my eight hours of sleep. So I try and make sure that that's what I do. Obviously there's days where this does not happen. Multi. So just try as best you can to stick to that or make a plan to try and get your sleep somehow even if it doesn't happen just try even if it's just three days a week that you do it good for you my last tip is to stay hydrated because we are staring at our screens for a long period of time now we are literally at screens all day every day just doing that like i wasn't even doing that at the beginning of the year even though that's what my major is technically I wasn't even doing that because of my theory lectures so keep hydrated because the blue light from your screen literally makes you like it literally dehydrates you and it's honestly not the best so that is literally the best tip I have for you also even trying to turn on your true tone display if your um, phone laptop iPad allows it just turn it on so that it actually just minimizes the risk of dehydration and just the blue light in general is just very very bad for you so just keep that in mind so that is all the tips that I have for you to keep organized during your online learning during work during quarantine basically and if you know any other tip that I have not mentioned please comment it down below so that I can actually integrate it into my life and I hope for those of you that haven't been doing this this gives you like sort of a little bit of a push to actually get things done um, like I've been coping fairly well just by doing these things so I would highly suggest just trying to take it on because it honestly helps so much but yeah I love you all so so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!